How many systems are your client lists in right now? Do you want to streamline your process and use fewer systems? With Google Contacts, you can be more efficient and effective. Did you know that Google Contacts is already an app within your Google account? Most people don't even know that it exists. By using Google Contacts, you can have those same contact lists as you have stored elsewhere and use them effectively and efficiently within your Google Workspace. Hello, I'm Amy Novick, a professional organizer, Google certified trainer, and productivity specialist. I empower business owners with Google solutions. In this video, I will explain why you should organize your business contacts in Google Contacts. I will explain three basic steps and benefits, the types of contact labels you should create, and stick around to the end for some mind blowing ways to use those labels in other Google apps. Three basic steps and benefits. First, hover over those random email addresses and click add to contacts so you know who they are next time that email shows up and so your Gmail will auto populate when you type their name or email address. Click edit and add the details about the person and some notes to help jog your memory. When viewing a contact, you can easily see your recent emails with that person along with the files that you share. Add labels, which are like tags, to add more information about each contact, and essentially those labels will add the contacts to multiple contact lists. Labels can be for anything, so think about what you could use them for. Labels could be stages in your sales pipeline, like lead, hot lead, current client, past client, or newsletter. Labels can also be the type of services that they have purchased or are interested in, such as Google Workspace, small business owner, digital organizing, paper organizing, home organizing, and ADHD. Once you've got your contacts labeled, now we can use them for many things within our Google Workspace. First, you can use those labels in the To field in your Gmail to email different segments of your audience about different offers, products, or tips. Next, you could use those labels in your Google Drive to share files or folders with your team members, a specific group of clients, or your vendors. You can also use those labels in your Google Calendar to invite a whole group of people to an online meeting or event. Lastly, you can enable Google Contacts on your phone so you can always have those contacts with you on the go as well. I bet you didn't even know the Google Contacts app existed before this video, right? Do you remember the three basic steps and benefits to using Google Contacts? What kinds of labels will you use for your business? And what other Google apps do you want to use your labels and lists with first? In the comments below, list your biggest takeaways from this video and how it will change your workflow going forward. Now, do you love Google as much as I do? Hit that subscribe button to get notified about more Google tips in the future and help us get to our first 1000 subscribers. If this video is helpful, please like and share this video with other small business owners so they too can become more efficient and empowered with Google solutions. Mm -hmm.